Hey everyone, Danny here over at Into Fly Fishing and today we're back with another affordable fishing vest review. Now this is the Max Catch Fly Fishing Vest and the link to purchase this vest is in the description below so if it is something that interests you be sure to check that out. Now this is another vest with a lot of great features and I'm excited to review it and dive into it so stay tuned. So like always, let's start with the, the pockets and the features of this vest. So again, we will start on the front of this vest and we'll start here at the top. Now the top has a very deep pocket at the front. So even your longer fly boxes, keys, phone, things like that, it's all gonna fit in here. Again, it goes all the way past my hand up, halfway up my forearm. So it's plenty long for you to store those larger accessories that you would want. And as you work your way down, you'll find a, a bit of a, a larger zipper pocket here. Now, this is where I would probably store my more medium-sized fly boxes. One of those can easily store in there, standing up. And otherwise, again, it's a good place for a reel or if you want some extra fly line, things like that. And as you work your way down, you'll run into a, a, a bit of a smaller pocket here. Now smaller fly box fits actually quite perfect in there your phone could fit in there things along those lines and zippers are nice and high quality you're not gonna to get them stuck or struggle to have enough leverage to close them so the side of the vest you will have another mesh pocket here again perfect spot to to store your floatant you know always know where it is you know you're not going to lose it and it zips up nice and tight there at the end of the day now if you move on to the left side of the vest, you will notice that it has a fly patch here. Now this is Velcro, so it can come on and off, which is a great feature if you need to reorganize or, or choose a fly off of there. But do be careful because if you do brush up against a tree or a rock, it can easily pull off, so just be careful. It is a nice feature, but as, as we all know, things happen while we're out on the water and you may lose something and not even know it. So do pay close attention to that. And also on the front, you have plenty of gear loops here. So if you want to store sunglasses, if you want to store forceps, nippers, there's plenty there for you, whatever you need. There's room. And as you work your way to the back of the vest, you have a couple important details. At the top, you will notice a plenty big D-ring for you. So if you do want to take your net along this is a place to, to put it and you also have this pocket here in the back of the vest so now this pocket's a good spot you can store water bottle it'll help counterbalance all the weight that you do have on the front of the vest so that's a good pocket to do that other than that on the back it's pretty simple you have the mesh backing here so it's nice and breathable on those warm days you don't have to worry about breaking too much of a sweat You'll get some nice airflow through there. So as you make your way towards the inside of this vest, you have the traditional pocket here at the top. It is not sealed, so a stocking cap, some gloves, that would work quite well. Um, also on the inside here, you have a pocket that could fit maybe an extra reel, maybe a snack, your phone, keys, anything like that. It is zippered, so you are able to close it up. Things aren't going to fall out of it. Um, one of the, the, the main pockets that it is missing is a larger pocket somewhere to store rain gear or any of your larger items. It has this one on the back, but that really is room for, for a water bottle, things like that. It's not big enough to maybe store your raincoat, things along those lines. So do keep that in mind. It's probably best for a lightweight angler who's just going out for a few hours on a nice day, not having to take extra gear with them. So next, let's talk about the fit. So there are straps on both the shoulders as well as the waist on this Max Catch Fishing Vest, which is a great feature to have. So the, the straps are pretty long on the top. They're easily adjustable, so however long you want to make this or however wide you want to make it, you can. You don't have to wrestle too much with it. That way, pretty easy and same thing on the sides. Adjust it to your width, your height, whatever you want. Again, I am about five foot 11 170 pounds this vet fits me perfectly fine i don't have to adjust it too much i like mine a little tighter 
and I can easily do that with, with the match, Max Catch Fishing Vest. So next, let's talk about quality. So this vest is fairly high quality. Some of the zippers were stuck or started peeling open when I did first get it, but now after I've been working the pockets a little bit more, the, the zippers do not come apart at all. They do seem to be stuck pretty good, so you aren't going to find that they're just ripping open at random times. The seams all seem to be in good shape. I didn't have any issues there. The gear loops were, were sewed in tightly. The pockets didn't have anything in them. The seams within the pockets didn't look like they were fraying at all. So overall, the quality is is good. I haven't had any issues with, with anything as I, I've been using it. So for around $40, you're going to get a, a pretty good deal. I would say this vest is worth the $40 investment that you are getting and it's going to last you multiple, multiple seasons. So overall, I would say the Max Catch Fly Fishing Vest is a, a good vest. I appreciate the individual fly storage patch here, um, but one of the main things that I have an issue with is there is no large pocket for me to store any rain gear or any bigger clothing that I may need out on the water. But for the angler who likes to move fast, be out for a couple hours, need all the gear that they, they would need on a fairly nice day, the Max Catch Fishing Vest is a good option. So remember that the link is below in the description if you do want to purchase this. Um, but otherwise, stay tuned. We're, we're glad that you're watching. We're glad that you're enjoying this series on affordable fishing vests. We have more videos to come, so make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.